Here are today's top stories. First, Robin Williams' daughter Zelda is slamming Eric Trump for sharing a video of the late comedian poking fun at Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden. The dated stand-up went viral when President Donald Trump's supporters shared it on social media in an effort to mock the former vice president. Joe is like her uncle who's on a new drug and hasn't got the dosage right. <laughs> I'm proud to work with Barack America. He's not a superhero, you idiot. Come here. Williams' daughter Zelda responded, tweeting, While we're reminiscing to further your political agenda, you should look up what he said about your dad. I did. Promise you, it's much more savage. Gentle reminder that the dead can't vote, but the living can. Back in 2012, Williams mocked Donald Trump during this stand-up routine. This is a man who said, my daughter is hot. Even people in Arkansas went, that's f***ing wrong. That's, that's just way out of place. He also called Trump's ownership of pageants at the time, quote, like Michael Vick owning pet stores. The Tron franchise is back on track. The Hollywood Reporter has confirmed that Garth Davis, the filmmaker known for the Oscar-nominated movie Lion, is attached to direct a new Tron sequel for Disney. Jared Leto has been attached to the long gestating project since 2017. The first Tron movie debuted in 1982 and starred Jeff Bridges as a video game expert and programmer who was transported into the fantastic world inside a computer program. In 2010, Disney released Tron Legacy, which won once again starred Bridges along with series newcomers Garrett Hedlund and Olivia Wilde. Your father was the creator. Where do I find him? Make it there alive and he'll find you. And Antonio Banderas has joined the list of public figures who have contracted COVID-19. In a message written in Spanish and posted on Twitter on his 60th birthday, the actor said he was celebrating in quarantine, writing, I want to make public that today I am forced to celebrate my 60th birthday following quarantine after having tested positive for the COVID-19 disease caused by the coronavirus. He added that he was relatively okay, just a little more tired than usual and confident that he will recover soon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications and click right over here for all the latest entertainment news. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.